Hello, Burn Nutrition. My name is Jackson Barton, and I'm a member of the Auburn Plainsman newspaper. I can probably guess this question has popped in your mind and has been a shadow hanging over your head since you guys first opened your doors here at Auburn. And that question is, how is a new smoothie place started by a couple college guys like yourselves uh, going to be able to successfully reach all demographics, specifically individuals in the Auburn slash Opelika area, while out competing a company like Smoothie King that has that already has two locations and is considered pretty popular within the Auburn community? This is a tough question to deal with because when you guys turn your dreams into a reality, the last thing you would want to have happen to your company is to be immediately shut down because you couldn't successfully reach out to people or because your competition was dominating the area and there was no competing against that. On top of that, you have to deal with the decline of younger customers because of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic sending all college, all college students away from Auburn for several months. It was so depressing witnessing the decline of your customers because you guys have s such a great connection with the younger, younger demographics, specifically students at Auburn University, through social media and through in-person experiences, such as ambassadors giving away coupons to your restaurant on an on-campus areas, such as in front of the uh, in front of the student center, in front of Haley Center, and all those popular places. What you guys want to have for your business is to be able to successfully reach out to all different types of people in the Auburn area so that a sudden departure of college students out of the city of Auburn doesn't completely ruin your business that you have dreamed about for so long. This is where Auburn Plainsman comes in to resolve your issue. We are a very popular student-run newspaper at Auburn, and we have numerous ads in our newspaper that is read by people who are in college and mainly by people who are in the middle age group, which is around, you know, 40 to about 60 years old. The middle age group makes up the majority of the population, like I said earlier, uh, and uh, that and they read most, they're the people who read our paper the most. And uh, this is what I can do for you. What I can do for you is offer you a spot for an ad in our newspaper. Having an ad in our newspaper will help you reach it, help you reach people that are within the social media realm and people who are outside the social media realm. You can design your ad however you'd like to in order to appeal to the demographics of your choice. And for a great price, we will have an entire page saved for you that will contain your ad and any other information about your company that you'd want in the newspaper. All you have to do is come up with an ad, give us a call about how many pages you would like in your ad your ad to contain. We give you a price of how much it'd be to have this ad in the newspaper, and boom, you'll be having more customers in older age groups than you have ever imagined. This is guaranteed to promote your business to older and younger people because the younger people are already aware of your company because of the social media influence that you have on them. But also, the older people will be able to, who aren't in the social media realm will be able to read the new, or will be informed about your company by reading the newspaper, which will, of course, increase your chance of successfully obtaining those older customers. If you don't act now and buy our paper, buy an ad in our paper, you will miss out on the opportunity to reach to all different all demographics, which could hurt your business. In conclusion, buying a space in buying a space and our newspaper for an advertisement will promote your business like never before. If you have more questions, feel free to call me. Have a great day.